my horse, my horse, my kingdom for a horse. That's probably what my opponent thought after losing this game. So let's see what happens. Well, I decide to play differently. For some reason, they obviously prefer, um, it looks like they prefer to um, take knights off and lose bishops in return. Okay. I didn't even bother trying to defend um, it. I should have done, but I was playing deliberately not too well. I just want to try different strategies. And back a bit. Oh no, I did, no, I did eventually take the, the um, bishop, sorry. Okay, it's irrelevant anyway to this. They castled. The idiot. Why do they always do this? They castle thinking it's clever. It's usually damn right stupid. Especially if I'm moving a the king um, rook pawn up. Now it's looking very vulnerable indeed. In fact, it's the, it's there's a potential checkmate there. There is only one move I think they can make to stop it. And they did the correct move. I moved my queen out temporarily, but that pawn will be relevant later. I now start moving this up. They moved their knight out of the way. I then decide to take a pawn. This will be useful later. They decide to take a pawn back. I now don't mess about and move the um, rook up. However, they think that I've made a terrible blunder here. You see, they see my knight as a massive threat to checkmate. And what they've decided is that by taking, what they're about to do is they're going to take my knight off. And by taking my knight off, they think they've um, reduced or eliminated the checkmate risk. So at this point, they're probably very happy. They're probably thinking, okay, then they'll lose their bishop because they think the next move I'll do will be bishop takes bishop. And then they think king takes rook and they think they will gain a rook or um, gain a knight. So either they gain, they've already gained my knight and they think either I protect my rook, this is what they think I'm going to do. I'm either going to protect my rook in some way and stop um, and move my rook and stop it being taken or they think I'm going to take the bishop off and lose my rook in fact I do neither I do not move my rook and I don't move the bishop I do not take this bishop off at all the next move checkmate So let's see, they gained a horse, I gained checkmate, and a pawn. My ho horse, sorry, not my horse, a horse, a horse, 
my kingdom for a horse. They gained a horse, but they lost their kingdom. So always be careful, guys. Is it worth losing your kingdom for a horse? Obviously, after that, my opponent probably didn't think so. So there you go, guys. Another example of a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse in the world of chess. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.